Hello and welcome everybody to part 38 of the Napoleon Total War Dutch Darth mod let's play. I've just finished the battle for Marseille and as you can see I was victorious. I didn't think I was going to show that battle because, well, it was against a few armed citizenry and peasantry. Not the most interesting thing in the world. I'll keep them there to defend, probably from this large army, but headed by uh, Jean-Baptiste Cervoni. Uh, next time, well, he's got small French remnants here. Oh, I've got this large army here, but I can't move out of Milan just yet. Can I move out of Venice? Venezia. Ah, recruiting more troops. No, I covered that in my last part, didn't I? Of course, right. Well, I am going to besiege Brussels now. Good wasn't attempted, but I'm going to try and force them out rather than... Uh, actually um, force them to take force a battle here I think I'm going to see if I can push them to demand a surrender yeah. and we'll peacefully occupy here so their army has, has fallen back no casualties taken but I've gained territory all the same and this is a rather key territory because it now means Amsterdam is protected uh, by a forward base. And so, with that, I've got one army in here, which I'm actually going to swap out for this f this army, which is sort of wounded. And then bring these two forces, like so. I'm not going to push any further, because I don't want them to try and intercept me and attack me. I want them to, you know, try and back down for now, to be honest. So I can put the pressure back on them momentarily. Uh, in England, yes, of course, creating a new force there, which I'll land back in Normandy and then have the pressure back on Paris. We've got Napoleon down here himself. He's brought an army to try and take back Bordeaux. So that could be in next time, uh, or rather next part. And I'll be still being besieged here three more turns. Um, I really should sally out and, and push them back, but we'll see We'll see if they decide to attack me. Uh, if they don't, I'll sally out next time. and. Uh, and Kick them, kick them back. Um, here we go. I don't think I'll be able to pull out here and put my militia in to satisfy the peasants. No, 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 no. Peasants, I mean people, of course. That's my this is my elite army. But if I can move down to Prague, then I can finish them all. Um, likewise, when I can move along from Venice, but that'll be next turn. So I think for now, I am going to end turn. I don't want to force a battle there just yet. I'll make the French work for me, and and basically, some of their army should start falling away by taking their territory as they lose funds. They shouldn't be able to keep up this high rate of upkeep for all these units. So ah, they bring that force there to besiege me, and I assume they'll probably bring Napoleon along as well, momentarily, to besiege Bordeaux as well. Uh, you're linking up their forces there, moving their navies along. And Spain is having a bit of a kerfuffle there as well. Surrender? I think not. They're not pressing an attack, they're just trying to make me surrender. Give me opportunity. I'm just having these few turns to consolidate, because now France actually is having to attack me for once. Oh, here we go, and of course Napoleon is reinforcing these guys, so this is going to be a large battle. Let's see what, what we've got from Napoleon Spring. He's being obviously expert artillery. Lots of these bloody chasseurs of Cheval who I absolutely loathe. Um, this army bringing up a fair a few in infantry as well. We'll fight this and see if we can't hold them back. The battle of Bordeaux, if we can cripple them here. That's Boney's army out. This is two two large armies I can cripple here if I can hold on. And if I can't, I can take down as many of them as possible. Because I'll soon be ready to storm in with a new army from England, which, if they do capture Bordeaux, I will redirect it down to capture Bordeaux rather than uh, reinforcing Khan for now. Because I have enough... I have three stack... Uh, three full stack armies up in Brussels that can dish out punishment for me instead. But the AI, the French AI, is now having to look to attack me which is nice. 
I mean, they've always been looking to attack me, but they've been more waiting for me to come to them. And now they have to try and push back, which is good. I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying putting the pressure on them. Mwahaha. If we ever load up into this battle, that is. Da -da -da. Inkwell. Come on, load! Don't say you can't load, because I'll be incredibly peeved if we can't. Ah, oh, there we go. Good. Now, since they're attacking me, they will have to come and face me, which is good. Which means I get a chance to deploy. And I'm not going to try and push forward. I'm... I could pull back. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, with the land we've got here. I'm going to have my cannons set up here. I could put them in these artillery batteries here, but I would rather have the the wider range. So I'm going to have them like so, and they will be formed up between my two groups of infantry. My first one here. It's a bit too far. Am I a bit too far over with the artillery? I am a bit too far over with the artillery, so... We'll line these guys up in front, and then we will swish these guys as a group. Uh, we'll make them group six, just for, to be safe. Deploy the artillery here. There we go, and then my second group. We can deploy from here all the way along. Skirmishers are going to form a flanking roll today. And I'm going to have them in front of my men just on this flank. They'll work there. And then my cavalry is all going to go over on the right. That's how we're going to deploy today. Oh. This group didn't form up as I had preferred them to. No, come on. That's because that other unit was there masking up where they were actually forming up. But that's that's fine there. Um, the barriers up. Defend against cavalry. And we should all be good. And now with these dudes here. Make sure with this spread out enough. Putting it a little bit more... Actually, no, that'll do there. And we'll put spikes, deploy spikes. Um, stakes rather, in front of them. This first force, not that big. Napoleon's force, of course. I will push up to meet his when he reinforces, depending on where he comes from. Because hopefully they will only stream one at a time into the deployment zone. So I will be able to hopefully swarm swarm them and uh, bring them down. Go for a barrage right now. Just while the enemy advances. And we'll deploy the stakes here. Protect all of my men on this left flank should the enemy cavalry go there. And speaking of the enemy cavalry, we'll deploy my own cav behind this sort of little ditch here, or this little dip in the land of a hill. Should have given them a bit of protection and when the time's right I shall spring out and attack the enemy. What have we got? We've got French Foot Dragoons. And we are pretty well doing some damage to the artillery here, which is good. Um, I'm going to target the cavalry because they're always a bane of my existence in dealing with the French armies. Ah, good thing I've got a timer because it means should it come to it I can try and just outlast outlast a French assault should I need to. We're gonna we're gonna fast forward while they are deploying and coming forward. We've just got this this kamikaze lot coming straight from my artillery. I'm going to put my guys into... Oh, no, they're putting back just before I could hit them with canister shot. So we'll turn back to round shot. Uh, it's doing a fair bit of damage. 
least morale's dipping down. And now we can switch to canister. And I'm not going to form square just yet because my men should start firing volleys against these guys any second to bring the enemy down. And if I can get some canister shot into these guys, their cavalry should just, yeah, shredded. Shredded horse, anyone? And um, we're going to go back to round shot and target these guys. Their first assault by cat. Oh no, they're coming back. And we will do barrage and we can still target them with canister shot, which is smashing. Oh, these guys, can they fire? Yes, they can. Oh, that's why they're holding back. I see. Targeting my cannon. Try and do some damage there. My cannon fires in any moment now. Yeah, there we go. It's going to start hurting again. Oh, shredded cannon. And now they're pulling back once again, hoping to break them entirely, or rather completely. So what we've got here, the enemy artillery is slowly moving forward. It's good, and the cavalry is going mental. But the rest of the infantry is pushing forward now. They are realising they're going to have to come to me. What they've not seen is my cav on the flanks here. And it looks like I might be able to charge their flanks because their cavalry... Excuse me, Yordig uh, is way at the back here. I'm going to have to time it just right. So we're back. Back to round shot. And we've got lots of spears here. Stakes rather deployed, not spears. So we'll be able to do a lot of damage, which is good. When the enemy line of tree hit my wall. And yeah, I'm going to bring my cavalry up here. And we're going to hit militia and fuselers of the line here. And hopefully, maybe take out the general staff. These guys are still broken. Not many left of them. I'm watching the enemy cab up here. Should they decide to come help their friends. And with my cannon, I'm going to target this you know, French conscripts right in the centre. Try and blow them to pieces. Let's see how it goes. And all this infantry here is actually going to be wasted if I don't redeploy them. I should have redeployed them sooner. Or we'll redeploy them like so. Make them run. Do it quickly. Okay. So this this unit of cavalry. We're going to keep the cavalry running. It's going to go straight into that one. This one's going here, and this one's flanking around the back. So we're going against militia and fuselers of the line. Fuselers of the line. No, they're not forming square. They're reforming to try and hit us. These guys should hopefully run through. No, they're both going to get caught up there. That was my worry. But no, they're now they're now charging in. That's good. And this other unit. Oh, wow. They're getting close. Canister barrage, please. Attack, attack, attack. And I'm going to go for their general with my other cavalry unit. Inspire my men here. Should work fabulously. Try and get these guys not to fire on my own men too much. But they're doing that anyway. We're going to make a strong flanking mark here. And we're going to charge behind. So that my men can fire clearly. And what do we have over here? Napoleon Bonaparte has arrived from this left flank over here. And we're going to form square to, to meet him. Or rather try and push him away. And have my guys form up like so. And bring down the man himself. It will greatly weaken the resolve and morale of his army. I'm being charged here by cavalry. And my cavalry has been broken in the centre. I'm very displeased. But their general has broken too. It's a large horde of cavalry, which hopefully will come back. They're going to be charged by these chasseurs, which is not going to go down too well. Oh, and Napoleon's just charged straight into my, my Jaeger regiment and broken them. But hopefully I'll be able to bring down Napoleon. Bring him up another square here. These guys pull back. 
I'm sure my Jaegers will come back. I'm hoping this unit of cavalry will. Our men are running, sir. Flanking the enemy here. Breaking them all across the rest of the board, though, which is good. Even where they've... Oh, no, they, they have charged my cannon, which is, which is not good. But we've now broken them. Cannon men, back to your cannon. Not as many of you left, unfortunately. We will hold you back. Um, we'll attempt to. Where's Napoleon gone? Where'd he go? Have we killed him? I haven't got a marker to say he is dead. Where are they firing? Our men are running. <laughs> Where's Napoleon gone? Oh well. we'll reform these guys here. Has he? Has he come along the line? Charged in somewhere? No, not that I can see him. Well, I've lost all my cavalry to the enemy cav because apparently they were vastly superior. But oh well, that's not fine. That's fine. Is that? No, that's not Napoleon. Lancers over here, which I'm going to draw towards my line over here. I honestly have no idea where Napoleon's gone to, unless we did manage to kill him somehow. Target these conscripts now. Now we're going to form square here against the Chasseurs of Cheval. Yes, no idea where Napoleon's gone. Forming back into line. What have we got over here? Chasseurs of Cheval. From the enemy. And I'm going to deploy this unit here to try and fend them off a bit. The rest of my line is being battered by French. Oh, and we've been broken in the middle here. Which is not good. I'm going to try and charge them with my general just to just shock and all them back. Into position where they should be. Oh, no, there he is. No, that's General Staff. I thought that was Napoleon. Is this him here? No, this is the Lancers. They've charged through the stakes and they've still survived and I couldn't form square against them. Bugger. Pull these guys back and reform square with them. There we go. Form me square here. Sir, your general My general's died, bugger. Didn't think he would die on just that charge alone. We'll pull them back out. We needed to redeploy these units to face the enemy. That unit's just routed straight away. Lovely. Bring these guys around to form another square. Ah, what have we got in the centre? We're being broken. Who are these dudes? And my cavalry's, of course, been broken. Our men are running, sir. We'll, we'll charge them back. And here we don't need square anymore. We just need a line. Charge these guys with what remains of my general. And reform here. My cannons have been overrun. And as have my infantry. Which I didn't see were being attacked. And now they've broken too. Great. Dang it. Ah, form square. No, cavalry. Bad cavalry. Form square with these dudes just in case. This regiment can't be pulled back. No. God, morale's going all over the place because I've lost my general. Bugger it. My plans for world domination are ruined. Ah, yeah, they're all they're breaking crazy here. We here deal with this fusiliers. Got a square here, so that should help a bit. Push up here. And um, we can now try and combat Napoleon's troops, which are forming up here. Horse artillery will take you out with this regiment. Our men are running, sir. They've broken my square. You shouldn't be able to break squares. Cavalry, I know you are shooting at it, but. Okay, skirmishes behind, you guys form square. Oh, 
and oh no, they've broken as well. As have pretty much all my units now. And we've got to form square with these dudes here because they get attacked. Bring up another regiment here to try and hold off the enemy. But it's all going a bit crazy. Beaten back many a unit here. And I'll we'll push these guys up here and with the remaining units bring them over here to support my troops. Bring my general back to take out this cannon. Trying to hold them with this square, which is just about working. Well, we killed one army, but I've lost many, many more. Surely this unit of cavalry's got to go. There we go. Thank you. Stop there. Flank all these guys and bring this regiment over to this side. Cavalry over here, just about to charge in. Bring down these cannons. We are holding back the units here, which is good. I've just completely annihilated their artillery. I'll try and take out this the artillery up here with my general's bodyguard unit. If we can do that, happy days. Routed the remaining units over here so we can now bring all the remaining infantry over like so. No, we can't. I thought we'd beaten this unit. We haven't. I thought that was one of my units, that's why. Oops. Reform. Finish these guys off and then we can do that. We can push on his troops, which are all emerging from over here. Where are they coming from? They're coming through from here. So if we can all flank around him, won't be able to defeat the infantry, but we should be able to do a nice bit of damage. Okay, my general's in position here, and we can now charge. Oh, there's the enemy Our general. Running, we could try and take down the enemy general. Let's do that. Thought these guys might be running there for a second. I was like, no, they can't possibly. But we're finishing these guys off. They're broken. I need them shattered, really. I'll let my men fire off. If they can get another volley, probably not. So we'll bring the regiment over here now while they're while they're fleeing. And how's my general doing against the enemy general? Number wise, we've got them. We've got them done there. So we should be able to bring down the general. Ah, oh, that's all my artillery. Fair enough. I'd have been very surprised if we'd managed to do that. And the enemy general is now defeated. What have we got over here? Chasseurs are shivat. Whoa, breaking on the right flank. It's not good. And form up. Square. Breaking me in the centre here. They did form square. No, nope, they're all routing. Low morale, no general. And howitzers are now in the mix. It's just perfect combination for utter disaster I'll try and charge one at least and my general here will try and take out these cannons oh they're coming back good good but we're pushing over to now face Napoleon's troops I think it was a bit optimistic to try and take down all of his men and his reinforcements form square with this regiment here Form square, they hit the stakes as well. The barri barricade, that's oh, them all running. gone. But they've broken my square because I've been hit. And we've now got the infantry coming. So I'm just going to try and charge this cannon with my men before the enemy infantry get there and start supporting them. Forming square here. Just in time, managed to knock a few of the riders off and then start firing at them. But they've broken my square again. Lack of morale. Lack of general. Trying to charge the cannon here, but we're going to meet a line of fusiliers. 
and probably insta break. But we'll try, we'll see what happens. Only a few of the enemy killed. Oh, we've got what have we got? No, we've only got one square for me there, good. Thought we had like double squares for me up or something. All hope is lost, sir. This battle is almost done. Oh, I can I can see that this battle's almost done. I will fight until I've killed as many as I can kill. I'm gonna form square with this with this unit too. And these guys can run back here a little bit and then form square. Little ditty square. Come on, go quickly. You'll knock some of them off their horses. No, you won't. They're going to just run straight through you. And break you. Damn it, Chasse de Cheval. How I hate you. Damn, French. My grand army at Bordeaux defeated. I've sent another one out from uh, my army in s my base in Spain. Generals are now having to rout because he's having a hard time against the cannon crews in the forest. Plus there's a line infantry bearing down him as well. Okay, we push them back. Push those units back. We can now go back into line and just try and take on this marching fusiliers of the line in front of us. A final stand. No, they've come back and these guys are about to break as well. No, they've come back as well. Good. Good. Stop mecking about. Well, no, they've broken. We've all broken. We do not like howitzers. That's what's lowering our morale to this pitiful level. Come on. Reform. Ah, valiant defeat, unfortunately. Let's see what the final death toll is for the French. I don't think I killed as many as I hoped. Um, but then these are elite French against pretty much standard line infantry of the Dutch forces. So we'll have to factor that in there, of course. Okay, well, obviously I lost all 5,000 of my men, but I managed to kill one off 4,000. Which, you know, I'm happy I killed half their men. Uh, it looks like I managed to kill Napoleon. Or rather, you can't kill him, you can just wound him. He'll come back in a few turns, he'll spawn back at Paris. Um, but he's out of the picture for now. So that army is without a leader. Which is, it's better than nothing, but they have taken Bordeaux back from me. So I've been weakened in the south, but as I said, I'll bring that l army from London now, rather than bring it to Car uh, to Cairns. I'll, uh, not Cairns, Cairn, rather, um, I've got enough armies um, assaulting Istanbul. Bloody hell, I think four's a bit overkill, really. And Aquitaine is lost, unfortunately. I have no idea where that other army went. Is it, is it that one there? They've pulled back up there, or is it... Ah, no, the remnants are going over here towards Spain, perhaps. Okay, and there we go. And a general, unfortunately, died. Can't get a new one. Two more turns till I can. Well, good thing I started this army up here. We'll just recruit some more over over the turns to support the army that I'm building in London, which is now comprising itself of artillery. Um, but it's going to need more than one six-pounder. So we'll build some six-pounders, and I'm going to get some howitzers in on this army. And then I want some cavalry. Cavalry. More cavalry. There we go. And then I'll probably be needing some... More infantry, but that's fine, we can deal with that. Um, France for now is being held back here. Southern Brussels. Have this army in the forest here. And this one here, so hopefully they can spring out. I wouldn't want to fight a battle on that map though, because I think we would imagine that would be horribly foresty, and I hate forest maps. Um, down here, I'm not being attacked by that. Uh, army, which I thought I might be, which is good. Build the roads. Can't pull them out of there for now, but I might be able to pull my men out of here. Forward, here. Forward. 
Yes, I can, and Venice is very happy about that. Which is good, so it's just my cannon really replenishing. I should probably have more cannon than that, but I will push on here, because I reckon this should be an easy kill. Yes. Taking out these border territories now. I can move on Vienna next time. Or probably not for a few more turns. We'll, s we'll see what happens, actually, when I try and take this army out. Um, If I exempt them from taxes, they'll probably be all right, actually. Yes, they will be. Can I get that army back in? No, I can't. Well, I might as well move them forward anyway towards, towards Vienna, and I'll just exempt them from tax straight away. Here I feel I should continue I should build up a few more men because one I can afford it. <laughs> and just so I keep a strong presence here. My spy, let's bring him up to see what's going on in Vienna. And here can I try and push these troops out. Oh yes, that'll do. That will do indeed. And we'll build up. Infantry and Cav. And we're now going to take Prague. Um, I'm going to save this though, because I don't trust the auto resolve. There we go. And we'll peacefully occupy. That's the only reason I save. Hero of the army, nice. Look at you go, man. Look at you go. Save because I don't trust the auto resolve, and if it comes to that, I'll just fight the battle myself. It's the only time I'll go back and change a result because it's just, it shouldn't be like that. It should be a straight, clear cut win. But okay, so we've lost um, Bordeaux, but we're pushing, pushing down and we'll be pushing up towards Vienna. So we'll have a complete link. And then we can start really encircling them and leave these territories to Russia to finish off if they ever take their eye off Istanbul. But that's where I'm going to end this part. I do hope you've enjoyed. Please do remember to comment, rate, subscribe, thumb up this video, and there'll be more of the Dutch Let's Play on Saturday. A link in the description to my new schedule. Ciao for now.